a boss. We don't need Buck Torfermer. If you do, if, if you say Buck, we're gonna come tell you. Yes, we jackal. We need jackal, but we don't need Buck. How old, How old are you, jackal? jackal? Can you tell? Says that he has a mic. How much? In, wait, how old are you, dude? Uh, I'm definitely older than you. Tell us, us. Locate the biohazard container. Fifty-four. There. But do we have photo ID? Hey, it's your boy, uh, Toll Firmer. I'm back at it again with another video. This time. It's about uh, Buck, the the best operator in the game. I'm I'm not sure how you could say that you don't need Buck. Like I know his special unique ability is a shotgun on the underside of his gun. It's not like a thermal scope or a, an electronics gadget detector. But I still think that his breaching uh, skeleton key makes him very versatile. Also, his guns and just the way he can play, I think, really makes him a good operator. But anyway, those people telling me not to play Buck um, really hurt my feelings and really triggered me, so that's why I'm making this video right now. So let's real quick talk about his two primary weapons that you can choose from, the C8, SFW, and the cameras. I'll real quick say why I like the cameras. It has very high damage and manageable recoil. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot about the best headgear in the game. The goalie skin. Basically, if you're on the defending team and you see Buck come at you, you're just like, NO! I DON'T WANT THAT! A fun thing you can do with Buck is find someone who's behind a barricade just standing there with your drone, and then shoot them through the barricade. It's kinda like wall banging, except it's not on a wall. It's on a barricade. So is it... bear banging so that's Buck. I'm a little bit sad that I don't see him being played that often because I really like him. I think that he's a great versatile operator with a good gadget that is maybe a little bit overshadowed by say Ash or Sledge, but that's okay. Cause you know, if everyone's playing the same operator, then that means that more people are gonna be complaining that he's overpowered because more people are going to be playing well with him. Buck's not bad, He's also not blatantly overpowered, but in the right hands, capable hands, he can do very, very well. Also, would anyone like to explain why he holds his gun like this? Because I'm pretty sure that that would be pretty difficult to do in real life. 